Aspen One Process Explorer, we saw that we can group related displays together using a tab group. Here I have that trend of Vessel One, a graphic of it, and a list of batches that were made through Vessel One. I may want to view these related displays side by side on the same screen, and I'm able to do that using a dashboard. To create a new dashboard, I come here, go to Layouts, and I can select from any of these arrangements. So I will select the three tile one, and within each tile goes a save display. Just like in the tab group, a save display goes into a tab. So I click on the folder icon and select one of the displays that I've saved with into my hierarchy. So in here I'll select the graphic. And the trend. And the batch list. I can resize the tiles so that they get the right proportion of the screen that I want them to. So I will make the graphic tile larger. And once I've done resizing the tiles and choosing which displays to view in the dashboard, I click the check mark on the top here. And now I see the graphic, the trend, and the batch list that were in my tab group all at the same time. On the bottom is the timeline, and this timeline is the public timeline, meaning it affects all of the, all of the displays within the dashboard. So if I were to make the time span longer to four hours, you can see there's more data on the trend, and if I move it back into history, the values on the graphic will change as well. I may want one of the displays on my dashboard to not be affected by the public timeline. In that case, with an edit mode, I will turn on the private timeline for that particular display. For example, I may always want my graphic to be in real time. So by turning that on, there is a timeline indicator in the upper left corner of that tile indicating that it is using a private timeline. And whenever that tile is selected, which is indicated by the orange border around it, the timeline on the bottom becomes the timeline of that tile. So the timeline is this tile's private timeline. If I were to select the tile of the trend, now the timeline on the bottom is the public timeline. And I can also show and hide the timeline. Within edit mode, I could choose a different display to view within the tile. I could split the tile up to add another display, or I could resize them. So once you've made a dashboard that you like, you can save it just like you would save anything else into the hierarchy. And from a dashboard, you can jump to the display any of the displays that you have on the dashboard. So if you want to do something that on that display that you might be restricted from doing within the dashboard, you can just go to it. For example, if I want to view the tag details of a point on the graphic, I can go to the graphic and click on that point and see that it's tag details. And from saving the dashboard, I can return to the dashboard. With the dashboard, you can create a lot of different arrangements and have a variety of different types of looks for your dashboards. Some other dashboards we have in our system are one in which we have a graphic showing tank levels along with the trends of the levels over time and some statistics about the levels such as the average and the maximum and minimum. This is a dashboard containing five different graphics. This is a dashboard containing an OEE waterfall chart along with a histogram showing the, showing the spread of OEE values 
over the last four weeks. And this is a three by three grid of nine individual tags trending 